want to go from this to this just keep on watching So guys, before we start the at home spa, I just wanted to show you the products I'll be using and I briefly describe why I'm using these products. So these are just some of the items you're going to need to give yourself that fresh out of the salon look. Of course you can substitute any of the products I have, but this is all I had on hand and I'm sure your nails will still come out flawless. So I'm going to be using the callus remover and then the emery board on the back to scrape out some of the dead skin and then soften that skin up. I actually just got out of the shower so my feet are nice and clean but of course we're going to do some scrubbing now to get them even softer. So guys, I do have some clear fingernail polish on my toes, I know you can't tell here, but now I'm just going to take two cotton balls, one for each foot, and just use some nail polish remover to remove that nail polish off of my toes. So things can get a little tricky here. I like my toenails shaped a bit rounder than most people. I know most people like to do their toenails square. So I just like to use the fingernail filer to get my toenails to my desired shape. And of course you can do your own. So now I realize you guys really can't tell what that says, but that fingernail polish is called Fruity Papaya and I got it from Sally Hansen from my local CVS. So I'm just moving the paper where I was putting my dead skin and stuff like that. And I'm also going to dehydrate my nails one more time because they felt a little bit oily or slippery. So I'm just going to dehydrate them with the nail polish remover and then I'm going to start applying the nail polish color. Guys, I've never been the best at polishing my own toes, so I have to go really slowly with this. But I like to take the brush, of course, tipping off any excess on the side of the bottle, and this goes straight up and down the toenail. Honestly, my toenails are not very long, so there's not much space to work with, so I can polish my toenails pretty quickly. I'm just never the best at making sure they're all nice and clean. So make sure you take your time when you're polishing your toes.
So now this has to do a lot with me trying to make sure my nails are nice and neat. So I just take some fingernail polish remover on a Q-tip and you don't really have to dip it in very deep because it's a Q-tip so it's going to absorb all that nail polish remover. And I gently go around the sides of my toes just to make them look nice and clean like they would if you just came out of the nail shop. So just take your time with this again and your nails should come out really nice and crisp. Because this isn't gel polish, it can take toenails two to three hours to dry, so I actually use a blow dryer off camera to dry my toes. So this has to be my most favorite part of doing my nails. I love to make them look all glossy and shiny. So normally to make sure the nails are dry, I like to start with the pinky toe. And if any pink were to come off onto the clear coat polish, then I would know they're not completely dry. So then of course I wouldn't keep moving forward, but this is how I make sure they're dry. And then I keep going with the coats. So because I want that fresh out of the salon glow, I'm applying some oil to my toes. And this is just some Dr. Teal Lavender Oil. I normally use this on my legs and things after I shave, but I thought this would be perfect to give my toes that shine that I normally see when I get out of the nail salon. As always, babes, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Peace out.